Good morning, New York traders. Super quiet session here in Europe. People licking their wounds from last night. All the comments. Waiting now for US GDP and Donnie Trump's speech this afternoon. Also, uh, Carney is also speaking this afternoon in the UK, so it could be a comment driven type of afternoon. Let's just see what the opportunities are in front of us here. We like this Aussie Kiwi chart. I'm not sure what's going to drive it. But technically, it looks very nice. We got our downward sloping trend line, some horizontal stuff, double bottom perhaps. A lot of different type of patterns coming together here. So this Aussie Kiwi is worth a try up through 110 the figure. Let's check out some of the big dollar stuff. It's a bit tricky because we're mid-range now. We've really done nothing here in Europe. Uh, we've basically been 70-90, uh, or sorry, 60-90 most of the day. We had a blip down to 42 and a blip up to 92, but it's been uh, incredibly quiet here. I guess the risk has to be uh, if we get a strong GDP out of the US, we will get some dollar buying. Watch your bonds for confirmation on this. And Euro dollar through 123.62 is the first real big bull bear line, so it's far away. Tough to trade. Maybe dollar Swiss. I don't know. It's it's a tough one. You're going to have to just trade the number and if it's a boomer or an outlier, try and jump on board. The levels technically are not that great at this juncture. Let's have a look at stocks. Bid still. We had a failure of that line at uh, 2834 yesterday. We don't get bearish until we get below 28.25 now. So that's our sort of stock scenario that we're looking at. Let's have a look at Euro Swiss. As we mentioned this morning, just guessing, but we think the SNB is going to be down here at 116. The market is testing that level. We will see what happens. There could be some risk below 116 because there are a lot of market participants who will be thinking the same thing here. Uh, 116 double zero. Something to watch to see whether the SNB is around. As far as the intrepid Aussie Yen, we've climbed higher, but we're still smack in the lower end of the weekly range. We're not going to cut this thing until we get through 88.50. We've uh, reinstituted some shorts up at 30 today. And we're just trading the short side. It's been very low vol in Aussie Yen, but very tradable. And it's been our best pair this week, considering uh, it's just been a lot more manageable than the up and down zigzag of Euro cable. And dollar Swiss. Euro sterling's worth a worth, worth a glance, just to say that now this 86.90 level, massively important over the uh, medium and longer term. We're 40 points away, so it's nothing pressing at the moment. But this one has to be on the radar. Uh, keep an eye, Euro sterling 86.90. Cryptos, we're lower, but still nothing really, nothing really to shout about. We dropped about five percent today, which is a pretty decent move for cryptos uh, in a very, very quiet week. Same strategy: stick some random bids, 9,300, 8,300, 7,300 in, in Bitcoin. And Ethereum, same trade, 
do we want to be careful doing both of these trades because it's basically the same risk so Ethereum you want to be sort of 900, 800, 650 uh, with the idea that there'll be some downside news driven scurrying out of this but we do think this stuff is here to stay so you want to buy dips and then trade out of the longs and keep a core core long at a good average is the way we're trading the cryptos otherwise it's just basically watching headlines today and watching the GDP numbers out of the United States of America not much else to say so we'll just leave it at that Good luck, everyone, and happy Friday. We'll see you at the European Open on Monday. Ciao.